Let's talk about a very typical Swedish wedding. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. The bride and groom gets ready in different locations. The wedding couple then meet with the photographer before the ceremony to take the pictures because you don't want Terry, I just cried my balls out pictures, you want the pretty pictures. Bridesmaids, groomsmen, flower girls and page boys then meet up at the end of the photo session to take bigger group pictures before they all go into church. The groomsmen enter the church first to the sound of the organ hymn playing. The groom might come right after awaiting the bride and the bridesmaid or they all walk in together. Whenever the bride enters the church the congregation stands up and they remain so until the minister tells them sit down after the organ has silenced. Normally two hymns are played on the organ and and the crowd in the church sing along to them. The most common ones are Den blomster tid nu kommer and I denna ljuva sommartid. At some part during the ceremony there is a prayer where the couple goes down on their knees and the minister takes the rings and makes them like Wah! well something like that. The minister asks them individually if they want to wed the other one either by saying yes or repeating the vows. After that the minister declares them to be married, they kiss and by this time someone's aunt has made her way into the aisle and takes pictures with her iPhone which echoes throughout the church in a deafening sound. A friend will step up and read some verses from the Corinthian letters. Love is this is that and that. Then someone will play a song that means a lot to the couple and people are starting to tear up and stuff. And the minister then gives a speech about marriage which is most often the most boring part but if you pick your minister right this could be a really good one. The couple will then turn to face the congregation and together walk out as a married couple. The couples walk through the aisle but they will turn before they exit the church so that all the people in the church can leave first. Uh, first the family and then everyone else and then the couple comes out and greets them to the joy and cheers and bubbles and not so much rice anymore because rice is not good for two reasons. It's a mess and the pigeons don't like it. After the cheers the closest family will hug them and congratulate them first and then everyone at a certain order will do so. Even that relatively new boyfriend of that friend that you know was kind of maybe list. The photographer takes a group picture before the couple gets into a fancy car or a carriage and goes away. The guests will now make their way to the reception hall where they will arrive first and the couple arrive late so that they can have a bridal toast because it's considered bad manners to have a bridal toast outside the church although that has happened. The couple will then make their way to their seats. They will sit down first and then everyone will have looked at the seating chart to see where they are at. They will go to their table and they will find a pamphlet there with maybe some text about the people around them so you can start a good conversation with the people you are forced to sit with for the next two or three or four hours. The Toastmaster and or Toast Madame welcomes everyone to the dinner and they will give the word to the parents of the couple first and then throughout the dinner there will be speeches from the best man, the bridesmaid, friends, the hen party, the stag party and other people once they get a little alcohol in them. Mm. When the dinner is over the bridal couple will take the dance floor for their first dance but they are soon joined by their parents and everyone else. A few waltzes later the cake is brought out and the couple cuts the cake and everyone drinks and eats from the cake and from the alcohol served and the fancy dancing soon becomes party dancing which goes on through the night. Sometime just after midnight a smaller meal such as a hot dog is served. This is called Vikning. The newlyweds will then go off to a special room or a hotel room or something to have their first night as a married couple but probably not the first night you know because no. The gift opening part is nowadays not so much done during the actual wedding day. It's most commonly done either in private or at a joint brunch the next day because nobody wants to look at two hours of opening gifts where the bridal couple who are already exhausted from a very intense day will like oh yay yay yay. The honeymoon starts the day after or several days after or even several weeks depending on when during the year the wedding takes place. So that was a run through of a typical wedding in Sweden. Any questions?